old are you? Huh? How old are you? No one, no one knows. <laughs> 67. Are you, are, you, are you a grandfather? Yeah. yeah. Are you, um, you're a very humble man. Are you embarrassed by all this attention? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was it um, overwhelming to go back to Satawal in this way? Mm. You probably get interviewed a lot, right? People, people always want to ask you about trips and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you ever get tired of it? <laughs> well, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes I get tired. Sometimes I'm okay. I, I struggled with questions because I feel that mm, such a big subject, so I really struggled with what to ask you, you know, and I, because I, I wanted to know what your, your feelings are too, you know, I mean, the, as far as the, the trip, it's sort of documented, right, on the trip, but I wanted, wanted to know what, just what your feelings were. I, I saw some of the video where the send-off, you know, can you, can you put some of those feelings at the Oh, my feeling is good, but uh, I think better you want ask me something, question them. I think better let them answer something. Some because you know, yeah. What did the Hawaiians give to your people as a gift? What? When when the when you folks did you have ho'okupu that you took to Santa yeah, yeah, in a sense, in a sense. The physical stuff is related to the freeze and all of that, yeah. But but it's more than that, though. Right? It's a, yes. it's a, well, well, it's an ex it's, 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 see, we don't we don't view ourselves as uh, as um, as separate people. You know, he's my father. He shot his father. Mm -hmm. You know, we we're his sons. We live on different islands. So for us, it's like going home, man. Yeah? Uh, your question is to what we gave to them, or what, you know, we brought to them, I think. The contact and the, and the, and the, uh, and the assurance that we're there to support them in any way we can. He's our family. Because of what he's done in supporting us. <coughs> Uh, Mao's family is not only in Hawaii, all over the South Pacific, Pacific Northwest, wherever he's, he's landed, he's touched and he's talked. That's, uh, you know, so, you know, if you ask a question about what, what give, who gave what or whatever, the physical, yeah, we took the freezer, and uh, the freezer's for a reason, you know, uh, he requested it, and the reasons behind why you wanted it, that's one side, but, uh, the the, 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 the the connection the bond that, that's the that's the thank you see with Mao Mao <coughs> told us now that he made the bridge yeah, between Hawaii and Micronesia and we're not Micronesian Polynesian Melanesian whatever those lines are drawn by someone else. We're all islanders. We all think basically the same. We feel basically the same. We're spiritually, I think, intact as as islanders. And in one sense, the, the waters separate us, yeah, but it also joins us because. So you know that, that feeling there is is um. Like when Mao comes to Hawaii, he comes home. Yeah, yeah. When we go to Sarawa, we go home. <clears throat> you know. That's why I remember when you and I first talked about this, our master came to teach, and now his students taking him home. You know. mm -hmm. I mean, home. Make the difference right. What's your worries about uh, your people keeping the traditions going? Yeah. Because more, there's more yeah. interest. Yeah, that's why I make the bridge between my Kanisha and Wailisha because I like make big family 
around the world because uh, I was thinking maybe I teach my people in my community and nobody knows me here too bad because I know the story before is here is uh, like the people in my community they say no, around the world no compass no everything before no time. but now we see some they use the compass or everything for the sending in the ocean and that's why they they use that uh, like 16 or what that's why they lost the culture because they throw away the Easter new things come from somewhere. Not many, eh? <coughs> Nobody follows the uh, custom before. Did your grandfather talk to you? Or? Yeah, my grandfather. When I was young, maybe four years old, then I started learning from him. How did he teach you? Did you go out on the canoe with him? And he yeah. taught you by being, by... Yeah, when I, when I was young and he, he goes somewhere, then he take me on a canoe, he gonna show me everything. But the stars, the the bird, the fish, stay in the house. And it was all oral, nothing written down, huh? No. It was all, all oral traditions. So we have to remember? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, so sorry. When I give him uh, freedom, better keep inside him than inside a book, inside a record. Sometimes we lost them. You know, good to really do this because uh, maybe later on or sometime the young kids, they, they read the, uh, anything you guys write down and maybe they listen to the, the tape and they know about it. or they think about the culture. So this will help? Yes. <laughs>